I remember as a kid, we would um, make forts, and then like the neighboring kids would make forts, and we would make them out of like sticks and leaves and different things, and we'd weave them together and through. Um, and then we would play games where we'd find their fort and destroy it, and they'd find our fort and destroy it, and we'd have to rebuild our fort and put it back together. But I didn't start really making art like seriously, like I was going to make art until I was maybe 12, 13. As a kid, I think art was just the same thing as play. You're just making something. I think as adults, we're taught maybe more like, more of that if we don't understand something at first, we should shy away from it or if we don't at first understand something or if we're not inherently good at it, like we can't enjoy it. So I'm really inspired by watching kids play and put things together. I, I see things in a different light. So I think we as adults can really learn from kids and their fearless attitude towards materials and play and making. And my mom and dad actually, they used to paint really big murals of like seascapes and things and so watching them paint together, you know, inspired me as a kid to want to paint on my own. Um, and I think that was, it was a lot, those were really happy memories for me, so that encouraged me later on, I think, to keep doing it. There's a lot of really minimalistic art, um, or uh, maybe controversial art, or art that's very abstract, and because people maybe don't have the background to approach it, um, they might kind of shoo-shoo it, um, or feel very critical of it. But I think if you, as a parent, are open to those things that you might understand. Um, I think that encourages your child to then be open to things that they don't at first understand. Um, I think bringing that openness to anything when you first experience it is paramount to learning and um, building new relationships. Yeah, but it kind of looks like a funhouse mirror, doesn't it? Ooh, I'm all weird looking.